fellow coders, welcome back to Code Made Easy. I'm Khumzaan Bikilia and today we're diving into a fundamental concept in C++ programming called by reverence. Stick around and by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a crystal clear understanding of what it is, where to use it, how to use it and some practical examples. So what is call by reference? Basically, call by reference is a method in C++ where a function receives the reference or address of the actual variable rather than a copy of its value. It allows us to modify the actual parameter within the function. This is an example of how it would look like. And this is a typical example of what a call by reference function would look like. Confusing, right? The purpose of this video is to explain what a call by reference is. But just for the basics, you do see that we have our main function, which still hasn't called our function. Let's call our function modify. We have our function, which basically just calls this function very modified number and then in this function we see that within our parenthesis we have this symbol and sign and this is what shows us we're dealing with call by reference stick around and by the end of this tutorial we'll have a crystal clear understanding of what call by reference is now let's apply call by reference into a practical scenario here's an example of a function that finds the maximum value in an array of five items using call by reference. Let's clear all this information we have in here. Right. But before firstly doing it by call by reference, let's firstly do it without having done it by call by reference, which is call by value. Let's build our function, which finds us our... Let's build our function, which finds our maximum in array. And here we've declared our array, the size of our array. There we have it, declare a function and maximum and your array within the parenthesis and the size of your array. This value, the user will declare it.
There we have it. Go by the root example. When it comes here, it knows this this are this array has elements and this size has also a value. The purpose of this video is to explain pass by reference would be. There's just a few changes that you're going to have to make to call by reference. Because we're saying we're calling by reference, we say this function is not only going to call by value because as you can see, it called by value as already explained. It needs to call by the reference. A call by reference is when a function receives the address of the actual variable. So instead of us having this maximum value declared within here, we will declare it here. There's a denotion that we need to put to show that this is a call by reference, an end sign. This is the syntax of showing how to call by reference. Basically what we're saying is, because we already know that when this function is being called, these values are being called by value. Like we said, when these operations are being performed, we already know that this value, when it comes from the function main method, they were declared there. But then now, when we call this function now, it has something called max val. But this max val is going to start without knowing that value. So how is it supposed to perform it? So basically all that it will do now is it will just take the address of where the value is actually going to be. So this is just the address of the maximum value. And we're still going to keep that declaration which we have here because the, remember the purpose of the declaration was to, to create the reference for us to make the compar comparison. And basically here what we're saying is the first value, which is the number 12, is our maximum. And then when it comes here, it keeps comparing it to the next numbers. It will come here, is 12 bigger than this, it's still big, so it will still keep that value as maximum. Is 12 bigger than this, it's not. Now the max value will take this 27 and so on. And that's basically all that we had to do within there. Because what we just did was say this function when we call it, we also need to call it by a reference of whatever value that we're going to be working with within here. Remember initially this declaration was over here. And now let's move on to the main function to see what changes it has done. Because we have done the calling by reference. So it means even here, when you call the function, there needs to be a third variable because the function does have three parameters within its parentheses. And, the, and remember that this one is not a variable, but rather an address holder of the value which will be held within that position. And just like that, we will have it like this. And it's as simple as that. So now to explain this, the find max function takes an array of integers its size and the reference for the maximum value, not the value. It initializes the max value with the first element of the array, and then iterates through the array to find the maximum value. The result is obtained through the call by reference, allowing the maximum variable in the main function to be updated within the maximum value found in the array. This example demonstrates how call by reference can be utilized to efficiently return values from a function and modify variables in the calling code. In the first example where we used call by value, the maximum variable in the main function was not updated with the maximum value found in the array. In the call by value, a copy of the argument is passed to the function, and any modifications made to the parameter within the function do not affect the original value in the calling code. The key difference is that the original variable in the main function is not updated directly within the function, but rather through the return value. So why would you want to use call by reference? It's an efficient memory usage. Since we are working with addresses, there's no need to create a copy of a variable, thus saving memory. Remember initially we had created a variable here for int max value, but now you're working with addresses and there's no need to create a copy of the variable, thus saving memory. Another benefit is the modification of the original data. In a call by reference, if there's any change in the values inside the function, it reflects that change in the actual values. The example we had before, the changes made within the function were only reflected outside, thus making this call by reference function a bit powerful to alter the values of a variable. Just to recap, call by reference is a powerful technique in C++ for efficient memory usage and modifying original data. 
It's especially useful when working with large data structures or when you need to modify multiple variables in a function. Experiment with a core by reference in your own project to deepen your understanding. And there you have it folks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay curious, keep coding and I'll see you in the next Code Made Easy tutorial. Happy coding!